Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and wish you a very happy new year. So in this video, I will be solving one of the important questions in PySpark and this question I solved in my SQL interview series a long back. So I thought to solve this question using PySpark. Okay, and the concept will be same, but the syntax and the formula, you know, will be different. Cool. So the question is that find the missing number in the column ID. Okay, so you can think of that we are giving one data frame. Okay, and here we have ID and this is the data 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. So if you can see over here, uh, you know, 4 and 5, 4 and 5 ID is missing, right? 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5 IDs are missing and then we have 6, 7, 8. So we need to, we, we need to find out, we need to find out the 4 and 5 number. Okay, so for that we need to write a code. Right. <clears throat> so what I'll do, I'll just run this statement again. And then what I'll do, what I'll do, see, we have 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. And we need to find out which is missing. What is missing? So the first way, what we can do, you know, we can generate a series of from starting from 1 and ends with 8 okay so i will be generating a series like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 you can you can assume this is a, another data frame or another table okay now what i will do i will do a sub, subtract okay see the ids which are present here because in this in this uh, table or data frame we know we are having all the ids right and we want to know which ids are not present in the second table so i will do subtract okay from a to b and then we will receive four and five how we can do that we can we have to find the maximum of maximum i mean the minimum id and the maximum id and then we have to generate the series okay so if we are using a pie spark then we can find out i mean we we can we can make a series we can make a, a number of rows using a range function otherwise you would have used or you you could have used uh, 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 a row number or rank 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 function also okay so let's see how we can do that so for that i'll just write here from pie spark dot sql dot functions import call min and max okay all these two things are i guess not required okay let you let me write it down let me run it okay done after that what i'll do i will write here df underscore list is equal to df dot select and here i will use max function not max first i will use min function and here i will use call of that id id okay and then comma I am calling a maximum function and here I am again doing the same thing. Correct. And do a display of df underscore list. We have 1 and 8. That is true. We have 1 as a minimum and 8 as a maximum. Correct. Now what I will do. <coughs> now I need to create a new data frame. Correct. So I'll create a df underscore new, I can say, right, hmm? new and uh, how I can create spark dot range function, range, here I will, I, I, I have to pass this value 1, so how I can pass df underscore list dot first, okay, and of 0, because this refers to zero index and this refers to first index right likewise what i'll do i'll just copy this and put this function if you know uh, python then in python also we have a range function right where we pass a uh, first index and the last index correct and if i do this and if i do a display of df underscore new oops i have to pass here one see we have one two three four five six seven okay so here i need to add plus one button because this parameter the second parameter is inclusive not exclusive okay <coughs> see exclusive not inclusive sorry 
so we have to add plus one now this is done so this is the new array we can assume let me just expand this correct and this is my older one so we have df underscore new and df df data frame right so i'll write df underscore new dot subtract df and oops i can do a do here show right so you can see we have four and five number if you want i can store this into another data frame called df underscore output and df underscore output dot show oh uh, yeah or dot show or you know display of this data frame also we can do it now there are multiple ways to achieve this uh, you know this question or this solution i would recommend to solve this question and give me the solution in your in the comment box also i have created multiple courses on my website called www.geekcoders.co.in you will be getting a uh, a link in the information button also you can check out the links in my description box if you like if you love to watch my or to create a end-to-end -end projects on azure data factory data breaks or you know or logic seven any of, of everything then you can you know check out my courses also i am going to launch a full course free course on dbt okay on on this youtube channel only and the course will be covered within this month within january month and then i will be solving or you know i will be creating a paid course on top of the same thing on dbt where i will be teaching you how we how you can create a end-to-end -end project using dbt so the idea of mine is that you know to give the basic knowledge in free and to create a project for for projects for you know interview preparations i'll just get i mean i'll just put i mean launch a paid course and the fees is also very minimal because you know when i create or when we create a <coughs> project course there is a lot of work i need to I, I i i need to you know i need to do it so hence i am charging just a token money and i hope that you are liking my courses my free content and if you are liking my free content definitely you will love my paid content okay so happy new year to all again and enjoy and full and just you know get a good package in this current year do do better in this year and chalo we'll meet you in the next lecture till then thank you bye bye